everybody, English Husband here, welcome to my YouTube channel most of all thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now this video is a little bit different from my camping ones, but it's going to be part of the camping videos. Now I know the light seems to be struggling a little bit to, you know, keep the light balance steady, so I'll try my best for that. Anyway, I've got an Outback original stove. This is for my one tigerous iron wall tent. So from now on, winter camping is just be gonna become a doddle really, isn't it? Because I put it in my tent, get my tent set up. This is all just bits and bats of information, but really, don't be a matter in this video, does it? The first thing, I open the bag, I've got the little carry sack. Now it doesn't look to be a massive stove. But it does weigh some, I think it's about under 10 kilos. I think that's 7.5 actually. I'll go pick all that up after, aren't I? It's not a big stove, but I don't want a big stove anyway because I don't want to have to be restricted to room inside my uh, hot tent anyway. Let's see if I can lift it out. Now, thanks to all my comments, on one of my previous videos, quite a few people said I didn't know Phil Mitchell goes camping. <laughs> Phil Mitchell, come on. Right, so this is a tent, uh, tent, tent stove, should I say. I'll put, well, while I'm doing it, I'll, I'll grab a tape measure and we'll measure it and I can show you measurements. The reason why I'm doing this now is because tomorrow night I'm too busy. Me and Oscar Outdoors are hoping to go camping uh, Friday night and it's now Wednesday night so it's like I've only got tonight to do the burn on it. The burn is when you get these stoves you've got to have it on a, a steady heat for two hours to burn any oil off the fumes of the paint on the stove. Anything really. You don't want to be doing that inside your tent first. So tonight I've got no no option to do it tonight for truth for you. I can't take it to woods because by the time I get there, get set up, it'll be dark. So I'm basically going to do it all in my garden. Right. Quick look at it. You've got your pipe on top for your stove pipe to come out. You've got your ring on top. Right, so by the looks of it, I've got to fit the window. So I'll have a go at doing that. So that's the seat legs open. Oh, look how quick and easy them legs open. Perfect. How quick and easy that. Right, so door cap seems pretty easy to use. These are all your pipes. One, two, three. Seven, eight pipes. Oh, there your side parts. Look we'll on the sides. We'll put that on next. This little ball things fell off from somewhere. I don't know where that's from, so we'll keep that up there. This looks like your ash, the ashtray at the bottom of it. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's your glass. Little sheet of glasses there. Right, I'll set this going. The glass anyway. Get it in place. And I'll show you what it's like when it's in place. Right, so the window glass will very easy to fit. You've got this little ledge here. And then you just slit, slot it in. Fasten these up. I've just done them by hand now. You close it. And there you go. Window glasses in. That's your air vent to control the uh, the oxygen going in to slow the burn down of your wood. Yeah, it's very. I think it needs a few little bits tightening up. But I definitely need to do this burn tonight because if I don't, I'm not going to have time to do it tomorrow night. And it is raining a bit, so that was a little bit of an. Uh, 
I won't say it's a problem with the stove. I don't think it's going to go rusty or out. Let's put the tray in bottom. Like so. Perfect. Right, so put these sides in place. They're pretty solid. What would you hang over that? I reckon you know, if you walk into the woods when it's raining or your feet get wet, might be a bit of a good idea to hang your socks on that overnight. You know, just to dry them out a little bit. <laughs> Hanging your socks on the stove. <laughs> nah, I think it's for like your pots and pans and stuff like that, really. Right, so I think I'll bring you back to this. So I'm about to do the, uh, the chimney part on it. At the bottom of the chimney pipe on every one of them, there's a bit of a lip. And on the next one, what it goes into, you can see it's like sort of radius in a little bit. All that does, it fits on there. And nicely locks in place. Pretty easy this, no tools needed as well. That is a good thing. Yeah, perfect, bring you out to see that. Right, so you're just gonna stick your chimney on the stove. Easy as that. Perfect. Right, let's build this chimney up. Right, so I just thought I'd bring you back what I've been building the chimney. God knows how I'm going to uh, reach up. You see the end one? It's got the holes in it and the end's capped off as well. That's for the top, that one. Right, I'll just quickly show you. Right, so overall, the chimney is 2.4 meters long, or it's 2.6, I'm sure it's 2.4 meters long. I really don't like doing this video in the garden, but I've really got no choice if I want to get this done when we go out at weekend. Right, so you're not going to believe how perfect this is for me. Anyway, we've got to find where it lifts off, and then you can see inside the stove. So you reckon, you know, you're boiling your water, everything's all right, you're burning your wood, sorry. Put your kettle on. Look how sweet my Oritz kettle fits. <laughs> that is absolutely perfect, people. It fits on just perfect. <laughs> I'm quite chuffed with that. That's going to be amazing in my, uh, in my hot tent. I don't know what it's going to be like trying to take this plate off when it's red hot. I think I might have to try and make something for that at work. Right, I think it's time we get this burn going. So apparently you've got to burn it for two hours on a low heat. Me being me, we're probably going to make it burn a lot hotter on a low heat. But we'll start on a low heat first anyway. I don't think we're going to use all that. We've got enough in case we do. Right, so I've used some simple little fire lighting block things. I know it's not a good idea to put your hands all the way in the fire. But someone will comment on that. Just know it. No matter what video I do, people just sit there and pick away at what I do, you know. And they'll whinge about anything. But I don't mind if that's what people want to do. Because eventually... I just stop caring what people say when they want to pick away every silly little thing what happens or little silly mistakes on my channel. Yeah. I'm looking at the wood's dry. It's dry wood. How about doing this in woods, obviously, with the storms that we've had and everything, it would be all wet wood so we'd have a lot more smoke and I'm lucky I've got them little lighters to make it a bit easier for myself right so what I'll do is I'll close the door and I'll just allow the stove to burn away the best it can if I stop all oxygen I reckon it'll start to go out a little bit We'll leave full oxygen, we'll leave the... F Is it an air vent? Is that what you call them, an air vent? We'll leave that on full. Then uh, we'll come back in an hour, keep feeding it, 
and I'll bring you back then. I can already start to smell like an, uh, a paint fumes coming off it. This is why you need to do it outside and not in your tent as well. Right, so I thought I'd just quickly bring you back and show you some measurements. So from across, it's nine and three quarters of an inch. So that's 250 centimeters, if that's how you work. Let's go with inches, measurement inches. So yeah, it's uh, nine inch and three quarters. Uh, 14 inch and one quarter so let's say it's 14 inch by just say 10 inch give yourself a little bit of measurement difference there so the height for it from the ground all the way up it comes in 14 and a half inch and it's not on the uh, legs it'll come at 10 inch so that's not too bad is it so there we go, we've got it on. Quickly measurement there for you, rough guide. 14 and a quarter of an inch, just a 14 and a half inch actually. And then here we'll say once again, I've gone on about it twice now. Just under 10 inch. Height, 14 and a half. I know I've changed it twice there, but let's round it off to the closest thing. And then from the grid, we'll shelving at each side let's look at that so shelving room we have five inch by twelve and a half inch just slightly over a foot it's not bad and that's each side right what I'm gonna do is I've got this off me, a garden wood burner. I am gonna cut this down and put it in this bag so I can take this camping with me. Keep that on the side there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick my kettle on. And it is absolutely full of water. You can see it there, if I give it a bit of a shake. You can see some water in it, I'm not messing around there, it's got plenty of water in it. We're just going to see how long it takes to boil a little kettle of water. I have looked upon some people's YouTube channels and no one actually tells you how long it does actually take to boil it. So I'll get off, I'll set the timer and I'll come back to you. Right, so 13 minutes later and we have boiling water. What's your thoughts about 13 minutes? I think it's all right, there's no rush when you're in your hot tent, sitting there watching your fire burn, warming your tent up. 13 minutes, I don't think is that bad at all. Just look at that going there. Woohoo! Yeah. Right, stick this on. I don't want to burn myself then, do I? In place, perfect. There we go. Right, so I've had to put me a light on my camera. There's not much more I can tell you about the stove, is there? Because that's everything basically. I just thought I'd bring you in quickly tell you, you, you know, your door size where you can get your wood in and out. In, you won't take it out. Come on, think what I'm saying. Uh, it's just short of six and a half inch. By four and a half inch, I think. Yeah, six and a half inch by four and a half inch. Oh, I didn't want that to happen, do I? Let's get that out of the way. There we go. Yeah, there's not much more I can tell you about it now. Next time you see this, I'll be out camping in it. So if you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see more videos using this stove in my hot tent, 
hit that subscribe button press the bell button and you won't miss anything that I upload yeah so next time you see me and this stove will be my one tigers iron wall tent so thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time